You're not gonna regret it. The payoff is huge. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. Eddie! Okay, it's 6 a.m. I'm recording this for billionth time. I can't articulate too well, so I wrote a script. So I sound robotic. I'm sorry. I'm also gonna talk a little bit slower than typically because me talking fast is really jumbling my words up. Anyway, what you're seeing on the screen is a screenshot of my YouTube recommended screen. Now, there are three live streams for the Rick and Morty episodes 24 7. Now, these people live streaming must have such a high IQ if they think they could get past copyright law. Am I right? Now, I don't know if these guys make any money from live streaming this, but either way, it's not okay to live stream this stuff. But uh, before I talk about why it's not okay to live stream all this, I just want to point out some of the YouTube's faults and all this. For one, they've allowed three different people to uh, live stream these episodes. I don't know if these people get banned and they make new accounts and they live stream it some more. But, you know, still, three people. It's my recommended page. That's ridiculous. Two, you would think that YouTube's automated systems would catch on these copyrights and uh, kill the stream. I mean, these automated systems have already mass flagged and uh, demonetized a bunch of random videos, even if they're innocent. Now, the thing is, my point being, recently at a like 10 second Rick and Morty clip, I got copyrighted. So, these live streams are still going on, it just kind of doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, anyway, three, these live streams always show up in my recommended even if I report them or mark them as uninterested. So if you see any cartoon, it doesn't have to be Rick and Morty, it's being live streamed on YouTube on the site, please report them because they don't belong here. Now, you know, you might be wondering why is this so terrible and all this stuff, but it's because piracy is not okay and supporting the official release is what you gotta do. So my point being, if it's an ongoing show, another season might not happen because of less budget, etc. Obviously, there's more to it than that, but that's just the one reason I'm gonna give. And two, it's illegal to even watch this stuff. You know, these people that are distributing live streams to themselves are breaking the law. In fact, they're probably breaking it worse. But either way, you're still breaking the law. Do not watch this. Now, I do see a bunch of people arguing in the AMA community saying that it's okay because. You know, they can't get their anime readily available, you know, it's, it's hard to get it. So they go on third-party websites and they just stream them. Now, obviously, that's not okay, you know, it's still piracy and it's illegal. So if it's possible, always watch on legal streaming platforms such as Netflix, Hulu, Funimation, etc., you know. Now, I could go on and on about this, but before I end, you know, this video, I just want to say, are these live streams recommended to you? they are please report them but i just let me know in the comments i'm actually pretty interested to know but uh yeah that's it for me hope you have a great day see you in the next one simply michael out bye